Oh, man, Kenny couldn't get my fucking jury duty. Dang. They said no because I've blown it off a couple of times. Are you leaving us? I don't know. What do I do? <laughs> what do I do? This sucks. <laughs> and then I fucking just realized it's not in New York City, dummy, because I'm, I don't live in New York City. Right. So I'd have to go all the way to fucking Mineola. By 830? Is that what it is? You might have to go do jury duty now? I know. Well, I'm get there at some point. Oh, Kenny's texting me again. Hold on. Let's get an update. All right. Hi. Uh, hi. Are you on the air? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, my God. I can't go now. Why? Is it 830? Kenny, could you come in here, Kenny? 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 <laughs> Kenny? Ken, Where's Kenny? Ken, oh. Ken, look at him. He's Kenny. just staring oh at his phone. God. He's just staring at his phone. Kenny? Yeah. Kenny, could you come here a minute? Kenny? What happened? Kenny, what? I would have to leave. Why, why now? He, he can I leave, leave like, now. Can I leave in like an hour? You would leave now. Anthony doesn't have to leave now. Yeah. Well, well you I have don't. to stop home and... Oh, well, it's that's not too far. All right. Yeah. Well, you know, if you're not early, you're not on time. <laughs> so wait, so he can't get out of this? He's fucking oh, working. There, well, yeah, well, there's nothing I can do day of at, at 6.30 <laughs> in the morning. All right, maybe I put this off a bit. What, did you talk to anybody or no? Oh. I, I got an automated computer that fucking denied your postponement because you already had one. So I could call back after 8.30 and try to reason... With a person oh, on the radio, yeah, he's on the air. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Well, that's not an exception according to New York court rules. That's well, crazy. Yeah, just should be. Just reason with them at eight. I'm an important person. No, but it's we'll like just it reason with them at eight thirty. Oh, can I get a doctor's note from Doctor Steve? Yes, you can. Oh, yeah. Well, you really have you to can. be sick, though. I mean, I know you are feeling under the weather. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I screwed up, right, Kenny? I should have maybe come to you a little sooner with this one. If you'd come to me, then this scum who ruined your daughter would be doing jury duty at this point. <laughs> <laughs> that I cannot do. Yes. Uh, Kenny, I, I, I screwed up. What? Well, just do your civic duty. Duty? He is. He's Funny. entertaining the public. Yes, that's, that's right. what I do. Well, entertain them from a jury box. You go reason with them, Kenny. We got yeah. a radio show to do. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. we have big We're guests. Very today. busy. We're uh, already off to a fine start. This is much more important than um, you know. That's right. Well, some skell's gonna get up there, and I'm gonna have to fucking be like, oh, some I dumb. Did. Don't some you want to convict some people? I really do. Exactly. <laughs> oh, you do? Oh, they don't want me on a jury. Believe yeah. me. Believe me, you're gonna get kicked off in a heartbeat. I really would. Yeah. I would. So, look, people that run this thing, this show, uh, you don't want me on there anyway. I would look and be like, "Oh, that figures." So you know, yeah. So I'll just bring I'll bring this with me, and when they say, uh, "Mr. Kumia, <laughs> do you have any?" <laughs> so like, "Oh, okay, we know what that means." So you're doing them a favor by not showing up. Yes, you're just wasting their time. I'm wasting their time. And I don't isn't need to it do that. our time? And isn't it our time, Mr. Hand? Yeah, but you get paid forty dollars a day. Oh That's wow, nice. <laughs> wowie, wow, wow! I don't understand why more people would want to do this. Yeah, Sam's gonna quit and just do jury duty yeah. full time. Just do jury duty. <laughs> probably make easier. more money. Yeah, talk wanna... to talk to more people too. <laughs> we got a guy that I don't know. He's missing a limb or something. He what? wants to thank us about it. Oh, and criminy. it's only a thousand dollar fine. That's it. That's it. Well, or and or up to thirty days in prison. They're not going to do the thirty. Does days. anyone go to jail for not no, going to jury? No, they'll give you one more shot at Does it. Does anyone has anyone gone to jail? And I don't mean like when you're in contempt and you really fuck up and shit like that and <laughs> tell the judge bad things when they call you in. But uh, like like you just don't show up. Has no. anyone really been locked up? No, take the thousand dollar hit. We got a radio show to do. Man. Oh, I just Why fucking... you work it out? Because I didn't fucking even see the goddamn thing. You had plenty of time. I was sitting on my fucking uh, countertop with all my bills that I haven't fucking paid. You're last minute, Larry. I got fucking... We're not doing a fucking oh thing, my Iraq. God, Iraq. Man, it's leaving. It's Greece. I gotta go to this jury duty. And, and Iraq, not in tune with what's going on, decides to go with his bit. Come on, Iraq. <laughs> Iraq, come on. Obviously, it's like. Uh, Good morning, Iraq. 
<laughs> Ant's obviously packing up, and then E Rock's like, "Well, let me do my little bit. I'll play a little grease for everybody." Kenny put the fear <laughs> of contempt of court in me. Really? Yeah. Of course. Thanks, Kenny. Now we're losing Anthony. Contempt. I don't need that. You could have been casual about it, and Ant would have stayed here. He would have taken the thousand dollar hit, and they would have rescheduled. Well, the thousand dollar hit goes along with contempt. Yeah, but the no and one. Then they would take my pistol permit away. Oh, well, that's... <laughs> I can't have that. No, you can't have that, obviously. But you're Jesus. not going to go to jail. No one goes to jail in the end. I know, but you have a charge on you. I don't want that. My record's clean. I don't have no arrests. And just go. Yeah, I gotta Tough go. Stand here, stupid. I know, you're right. <laughs> oh, don't <laughs> you choke. choke? You just choke? I was going to give you the Heimlich He's maneuver. got a few minutes. you got to be there an hour and 15 minutes. In yeah. Mineola. Quick drive out to Long Island. Rush quick hour. drive, yeah. It's Rush a quick hour. drive. No, it's not. It's a quick I'm, drive. I'm gonna go. Are you gonna... I gotta go home, too, because I can't wear a hat in the courtroom, and my hair looks like fucking Medusa. Can we see your like hat? Like... Your what? hair? Let me see your hair. Okay. We'll see if you're all right. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> That's not that bad. Yeah, you're fine. That's actually not that bad. Jesus, has got a lot of hair now. What happened? I don't know. Wait, what the wait, fuck wait. happened? It's like Doc Brown. <laughs> yeah. How the fuck you get all that yeah. hair? Yeah. What are you doing? Go! You fucking stand here doing fucking. Why are you panicking? From... He's all right. I don't want to be late without his, his pistol license. I feel safe at his house. <laughs> I feel safe at his house because he has a gun. <laughs> He'll just have a shotgun next to him. Yeah, shotgun. yeah, you can oh, always have the shotgun. All right, uh, I you know I apologize to you know who this hurts the most the listeners. No one. No, no they we're all right. Oh, okay. Hurts well, no one. Fuck hurts everybody nobody. then. <laughs> Call the fucking. Here's who you should apologize to the defendant. Call in. I'll call in. Could you call from the I'll car? Because you're going to be in a panic and you'll yeah. be yelling and screaming. It'll be call. terrific radio for everybody. Lap your tears away. All right. Mm -mm. He said that jury duty notice was on the table with all of his bills. Yeah. I'd love to see his credit score. <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't think he pays his bills on time? He's probably one of the only millionaires with a 300 credit score. <laughs> <laughs> Does he really not pay him on time? No. It, if he didn't realize he had jury duty until an hour and a half before he was supposed to be there, then yeah. Well, he's busy. You know how it is. He swims a lot and he's... <laughs> he swims yeah. a lot. Yeah. He has a bad credit, yeah, credit score. We gotta ask him. If you're not paying your bills? <laughs> yeah. Fuck. I don't like doing automatic bill pay. I won't do it. Oh my it. god, I love it. I won't do it. I'm trying to get everything on automatic. I don't like them so having that kind of control over my fucking bank money. Who that gives a fuck? Signing I don't checks trust them. and fucking licking envelopes. Fuck all that. You don't, don't have to do it anymore. I do it through I've had the same checks for probably four or five years. Really? Yeah. I go through a lot the of only checks. Check, the only check I write is my rent check. Really? So you got yeah. everything yeah. automatic? Well, yeah, it's either automatic or I know to pay it online. But what if you have a, uh, a discrepancy or something? I don't want, I, I don't like anything. I'll do my car payment automatically you and barely. my mortgage payment. So when you say automatically, do you mean you don't do anything online, or you don't do anything scheduled? Oh, I do it all electronic. Okay. I, like, I, I, they send me a bill, a hard bill, which I save and for taxes. And you pay it online. And I pay it online. Sure. I, don't, I don't let them just But you don't it. just let them take your money? Okay. No. Oh, God. I do it I do yeah, it I online do banking. Either. Oh, fuck that. You don't do take any away. automatic uh, payments, James? No. Really? No. Like my phone bill, like I just have him fucking zap it. Yeah. Right? No, because there are some phone times where there's no money to pay. <laughs> but you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, now phone bill I'll do and my and my car payment. A couple of things that I know are going to be very close. Credit cards, never. Because if you get fucked and someone gets your number oh, and no, like no, no. eight thousand dollars no, worth of charges, no, I'm not auto pay a credit card. No. But never, like, huh? just like regular bills, like you know, like my cable, phone, my cable bill, yeah, my phone, phone cable, bill, you know, shit, oh, shit that's roughly the same charges, every month. My stupid garage oh, thing. Cables oh, automatic. Garage. Cables that. automatic because because they forced me to do automatic because they give me a discount if oh, you that do it Verizon, automatic. Like, uh, yeah, what kind of discount? Yeah. What like fucking oh, dollar? Oh, more. you know, you, you know what? It, yeah, you know what it was? <laughs> dollar. Uh, they waived the Apples. installation fee if you sign up. Oh, that's so nice of them. Yeah, I know. They're just great people. Time they don't want you being late, guys. Cable companies suck. They're terrible. They're the worst. They're not good. Yeah. Fios offers and nothing like that. It just keeps like going up. I saw that it was going up another twenty dollars like the other month. Like that, do they? What? Uh, like a automatic pay for free installation? Why well, I, com I combine oh. on my phone bill. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's what you could do. If you pay, if you have if like, like multiple Verizon services, you can combine them onto one bill. You save some money. That's what I do. They gave me back a lot of money. I had like I overpaid by like six hundred. Wow, but Verizon gave you money. Yeah. Time Warner keeps taking money. Yeah, Time Warner stinks. The worst. Well, why are, are they could... raising their rates? I don't know. I, I, I noticed that like my bill is usually like one thirty, and it was one fifty last month. And I called them up. I said, "Are did rates go up?" They said, "Yeah." 
People said, were, you, were you going to tell anybody? People are watching less TV, so why would you be? Why would you raise your you rates? You want to talk about less TV? I, my TV is about to. It's on its last legs. Like I, I'm probably going to need a new TV by the end of the month. Right. And I'm um, I'm TV You're shopping. You're debating, right? Yeah. And I'm like. I'm like, should I spend the money on a TV or should I just get some old piece of shit? Because do I? What do I do? It's just on. Right. It's just on. When was the last time I sat down, watched a fucking show, and retained the information from yeah. it? I can't tell you. Man. I have no idea. And the movie channels suck. They just suck. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I don't watch any movies. Those are the biggest waste of money. It really is. Be because when you sit but you down, you have think to have about it. Because then they take all the shit away if you try to drop your movie. When channels. you think about how much you're spending for like Showtime and HBO and Cinemax, and how There's much you're and, and how much you're actually watching it, Bro, I dumped those yeah. years ago. Maybe years. an hour a month. Maybe I That's, hardly ever watch maybe it. Two hours a month. I don't know. But it's a write off, Fairly. I think, for us because we talk about it at work. I mean, yeah. it's, it's well, needed for work. That might be true, but at the same time, it's not like it's free. You're still spending that money, oh, so yeah. you know, I care less about a write off. It still looks very expensive to have to have movie. Channel yeah. packages. I'll order, I'll order Showtime when Dexter comes on, and then I'll cancel it when Dexter's gone. That's smart. Do you yeah. Really? yeah, absolutely. What, what am I going to pay $15 a month for if I'm not watching the channel? You're in that you bracket, know? huh? Where yeah. you're still absolutely. juggling oh, everything? Absolutely. Yeah, I don't, I'm <laughs> juggling right now. <laughs> I was there for many years. You see all your bills and you juggle yeah, them around? Absolutely. Oh, well, I can pay this and uh, save I'll wait $20 on this. here. And, <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, I'll pay this a little wow. late. That's all right. I, I know that game. Yeah. All too well. Yeah, I don't need I don't need super troopers to come on at four PM no. on a Tuesday. I don't give a fuck because no. I could just put it on whenever. So unless it's like like the only thing that it sucks that I can't watch is like shit like Dexter, like Game of Thrones, like I'm I'm lost. But, but all that shit eventually not, comes out on Netflix yeah. anyway. And if I really want to watch it, I can watch it. Yeah. I, I'm not yeah. paying HBO. fucking twenty dollars for HBO. HBO doesn't come on Netflix. Or they don't come on uh, iTunes or one of the, one of those. They well, like you can with. still watch it if yeah, you, you want to still watch it. Watch it if you're How? <laughs> Have a friend, I guess. I don't know. How? How the fuck you do that? How the fuck you watch it without the fucking motherfucker? <laughs> Let's go to Chris on Long Island, who's saying he could have got Anthony out of jury duty. Oh, I don't know. Who's uh, Chris? Uh, Chris is a regular. He calls yeah. from time to time. Chris, how, how are you, you going to get Anthony out of uh, jury duty day up? Uh, I can get him pulled from the room. He just has to show up. Are oh, you going to be that? in the room yourself? No, my mommy is. Your mommy could get Anthony pulled? Yeah, my mommy's one of the head clerks over there. <laughs> yeah, but, you know... It, she could do it. She walks in the room and picks you out. You know what? You know, if Vance leaving the show, I'm not giving him... You know, we're not giving him a day off. You're going to make him fuck do the whole... <laughs> yeah, so fuck... Yeah, he's not going to come back and Yeah, finish. exactly. So, you know what? This is what I say. <laughs> Goodbye. Now he's just going to walk in there and say, I'm looking for Chris's mom. Yeah, Chris's mom could have got Anthony out of jury duty if he shows up, but we know Ant's not coming back here, so <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> That's true. All you'd be doing is giving him a day off. That's right. Yeah. He's on his own now. Ant's got 15 minutes to make it to jury duty. I or, hope he makes it. Or he's going to be thrown in jail or something. That's what I'm hearing. Give us a call, Ant. We got uh, Kevin Pollack coming in in a few minutes. Actually, we could get him uh, walking down that hall. That'd be nice. I think yes. he's in the office. Kevin, Kevin Pollack, everyone. We, uh, we're Please, be yeah. Please be seated. Please be seated. Sit down. You don't get to see Ann again. I realize he hates me. I That's think what this is about I now. I think this There's is something going on. Yeah, it was yes. a jury duty thing when he saw the guest list. He was like, ah, oh, it's oh, Tom Jury uh, Duty. Jury Duty, yeah, the uh, jury duty. And that's not understand. obviously lame as an excuse? Yeah. I don't, to, to not see me? Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty good. I haven't had to do jury duty in 15 years. I'll brag about it. I, I always get out of it. How, well, so how do you get out of it? Because I did I it a just, couple uh, of weeks ago. We, we got people. I see. I know people. I understand. I and, really and I don't call in many favors, but I don't want to deal with that jury duty shit. So I'm, I think I'm good for another three years. I've been away. I would actually, I will do it. I'll have to do it eventually. Oh, it sucks. But I've just been gone. Yeah, I've been lucky. I've gotten those things in the mail. And uh, when I was in Queens, I would just some, I would just blow them off all the time. And nothing ever happened. Yeah. And now I'm out in Long Island, and I got one of those things. And it seemed unavoidable. But all I had to do was call. And I, I called, and they never picked my number. So I'm running on, like, since I'm 18, so uh, 13 years, jury duty free. Wow, nice. Yeah, yeah I'm on a nice run. I've never blown it off, though. It scares me to blow it off. Like, I've always called somebody or talked to somebody. No, you blow it or... off until you get the letter that Ant got. No. Final but... notice, right. 30 days in jail, $1,000 fine, we'll yeah. take your gun away. Rape you with a stick. It really gets ugly. <laughs> so Ant ran out of here. Wow, they're not kidding. He ran out of here. They're not fucking around, I think. He doesn't want to lose his pistol permits because he's like, when you got a yeah. gun permit, you can't fuck around with any type of legal action. Right. 
Yeah, so. I got the letter, and half the people you talk to say, "Just rip it up." Yeah, you know, and they, they, they ignore it. They can't keep track of everybody. Mm. I can't. I can't do it. It's a computer, of course. They they can keep track of fucking stars. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you think, <laughs> but do you have those? Do you have those friends that just yeah. say, "Yeah, fuck it, just rip it up." They, they won't even notice. Like it's 1905, and it's fucking yeah. Hoover doing it. <laughs> yeah. All you have to do is go in there and do a Christopher Walken impression or something. They're like, hey, right, excuse geez, me, uh, Your Honor. <laughs> right. Those are nice balls. <laughs> you got some sweet nuts. Sir, I'd like to sit down if I can. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they don't give a shit about that. <laughs> they really don't wow. give a shit. You they can, uh, you can drive them nuts I, with impressions. And I though. get that face, though, that face recognition thing. Every yeah. day, hey, how you doing? You know. And they still and, don't care. And then I, I did it like three years ago or something, where I got your dude. I went in, and you're sitting around, you're waiting to be called. And I'm there a couple hours. You know, you bring a book, whatever. You you know, you can bring a computer now. You just sit there. So I went up to the window and I said, yeah, do you have any idea? And she go, I know you. And then she said, get out of here and sign the thing and let me go. Nice. Oh, that was nice. Right? So then, so this year when I went in like three weeks ago, I walked up to the window and said, how you doing? <laughs> Gave him the face. Nothing. Nothing. Sit yeah. down. Go sit down. If you, well, you should have hinted. You should have said, I understand you're looking for a few good men. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Damn it. I, was, uh, I was in a casino. <laughs> yeah, right. And I, I yeah. just got here. <laughs> if, listen, if I can help find a couple of usual suspects, I'm happy to do it. <laughs> Uh, but I tweeted that I was going to jury duty, and everyone was quoting me uh, lines from a few. Oh, were they? Yeah, of course they were. <laughs> you can't handle the show. <laughs> yeah. I watched that again recently. It since was obnoxious. We've, we've met each other. No, you're really good in it, though, man. Well, well it's that. Aaron Sorkin. It's kind of tough to fuck that up. No, I could. To be honest with you. <laughs> you could? Yeah. How I do you know. relax when you act? This is what I, like, I, I was talking to earlier about, like, it's hard for me to relax and be present, like, in the moment, which is, uh, you know, like. That's I'm, all it is. It's that's hard to be present in the moment. That's the whole thing. That's by the way. That's all I can do. I don't really know that I can act. I can just be loose in front of the camera. No, you can and act. comfortable. But but that's my technique is just be fucking real. Right. And guess what? It'll everyone say you're a good actor. Do you read direction? Like if it says, uh, like if you had to play something like the lawyer you played, uh, do you say okay, I want him to be this kind of guy, or do you just not think of how you're going to deliver the line next? Oh, no, I, I definitely want to figure it out ahead of time, talk to the director and, and uh, get a beat on what their idea is. Yeah, I mean, I, I, people say, how did you prepare for this role? I read the fucking script a mm. uh, hundred times. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't I drive. If I'm going to be a, a police officer, I don't need to drive around police officers for six weeks and study how they put their pistol in their holster. You know what I mean? Because it's never about how to be a cop. You just happen to be a cop. You're a, you're a, but you're a guy first. Right. You know, you're just mm. a guy who play the man, not the uniform. Yeah. Yeah, I was, uh, uh, of course, yesterday I was called away uh, from this fine program. From this very pogrom uh, to go to jury duty because Kenny petrified me with the fact that I would be pretty much headed for prison. It was going to be like locked up abroad. Oh, hmm. boy. Um, if I didn't go and report to jury duty, uh, I was going to be hauled away, thrown in the hole, fucked in the ass, <laughs> and uh, I was going to be and terrible. Then punished. <laughs> and then punished. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really, where's the punishment? Good, after that goodness, uh, right. yeah. <laughs> then there would be problems. So I, I left at like, I guess a quarter after seven or so to get there by 8.30, which I did. Uh, I don't know what's going on. This was my first experience at my age, believe it or not, my first experience with jury duty. Mm. Never went in my life. Uh, the first experience... I sit down at uh, the Nassau County um, Supreme Court building. Uh, it's a giant room, big room with a bunch of uh, pews, I guess you'd call them, like the benches in a, you'd see in a, a church. Uh, big screen at the front of the uh, room, and they lower it down, and they start the overhead projector and go through this um, uh, uh, little, I guess, orientation on oh, jury nice. duty. But it's not orientation. It's a fucking movie you would see in, in school. Really? In, like, junior high. Was it fun, at least? No, it was stupid. Was it from the late 50s? <laughs> it was, no, it was pretty much from, I guess, the 80s, 90s, it looked like. Oh, really? It was the cast of 60 Minutes for the time. and um, All dead now. All dead. And they, they, not only did they have to tell you about what it, it's like to be on jury duty, but they went back to the whole judicial process. To the point where they literally showed actors tossing someone tied up into a lake because when they sink, they're innocent, and if they float, they're guilty. So they had actors doing this whole thing, and I'm sitting here watching this going, why am I watching this? What year was that? 
16, back in like the 16s. Yeah. Were you allowed 15, to eat whatever 16. you want before they did the test? Uh, well, you'd get a cramp and you would. Uh, I would have went for something right that bottom. would make me bloaty. If Apparently. you float, you're innocent? Yes. So See, if, if, they, if they. No, if you sink, you're innocent. If you float, <laughs> they, they can't even exactly. give me the fucking. If they, I float, I'm innocent. They tied you up and bound you and threw you in a lake. And if you sink to the bottom, you're innocent. If so, you float on top, you're you're guilty. Then how did they get you out of there? Exactly. Did they or no? Uh, at, at some point, that was up to you. I at guess. some point, they had the um, the guys that were to determine if you were guilty or innocent standing there, and they like if you were at the bottom long enough. And didn't float, they would nod and be like, mm, "Okay, he's innocent." And the family would run in like, "Ah, ah!" and try to pull the person out because they were innocent. What a bunch of and, and sometimes they were dead. This is our country. Yeah, this well, is okay. like 1600s, like it uh, was pre witch trials. It, it was pre country. Um, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. call it pre country. All before the Constitution. I mean, we, yeah, we got our own problems since we in, made America. But. I think they did it in England also. I'm sure it was like the same thing. So it was kind of passed over uh, over to here. Same uh, group of people, probably a little religious, you think? Mm -hmm. yeah. Just a tad. Oh, a lot of religion going into uh, that whole thing. Uh, so th that happened, and then I'm sitting there, and then how uh, long was it that movie? It was uh, it was probably 15 minutes. Oh, okay. Uh, and then like Ed Bradley was in it oh, no. and he shows up and he's talking about the judicial system. Oh. No one's there just because they were passing by and said, <laughs> hey, let me stop in for some jury duty. Yeah, let me help. <laughs> it's the law. You had to show up. You're, no one's there because yeah. they want to be. They threatened throwing you in jail. In jail. That's so not, yeah. that's not, thank you for your service. Right. Don't make it sound like you wanted to be there for your civic duty. It's, duty. Too, it's too bad they can't figure out how to make it kind of. Where you almost want to do it. The red tape and bureaucracy that goes along with it is what makes it horrible. Because I knew when I sat down that it was going to be a long time of just sitting there because there's too much shit that goes on. There's too many people that need to be paid and justify their job mm -hmm. uh, for you to just get in and out. So you, you run through a bunch of fucking channels uh, with this whole thing. It, it sucked. How about you sit in the big room and nothing happens for the first hour? That's what happens. You just sit You're in the big room. There. It's like, okay, I'm here. You yep. got me. Can we make this? Please make this easy for yeah. me. I'm doing you a favor technically. So why are you treating yep. me like shit? So right? I, I, yeah. And I, then maybe you get into the small room where some of the action happens. Something happens. And then that takes forever as the lawyers are discussing shit in the hallway. Yeah. I've been through this. I went through it Sucks. once and I said to myself, I will never do this never again. Never do it again. I am going to fucking, I'm going to, I'm going to call in a lot of favors. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I sat down and I, then you, the guy comes in and starts talking. And he's like, all right, take the form and rip it down the perforations and take this part. Now turn it over. Now fill out the questionnaire on the back. And I'm like, I, I had a flashback of fucking school because Anthony never had a pen. <laughs> and again, I just didn't have but a pen. But who only idiots carry around pens? I have a pen. So every, you figure it out every time. You don't need your own pen. So I make the mistake of looking at the guy next to me who had a pen right. and say, excuse me, uh, sir, uh, when you're finished, can I use your pen? Okay. It was like a fucking uh, uh, an IQ test this guy was taking forever. And it's like maybe eight to ten questions on the back mm -hmm. that you just go, no, no, yes, no, no, sign, and, and you're done. He was looking at everyone and pondering each question. And, pondering. <laughs> and a little tip, you write angrily. Yes, yes. They could pick up on that. I was like, good, 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 good. press down really hard. So I'm sitting, and the guy is still filling shit out when the guy at the front of the room is going, all right, we're going to come by now and collect the forms. I'm like, I haven't even fucking written anything on mine. So uh, I, I turn my head mm -hmm. to see if somebody else had a pen. And the woman behind me knew she must have been, because what else are you going to do there? You just got to look at the drama that's happening around you. Of course. The fucking nothing drama. So she must have seen that I needed a pen and this guy was fuck taking forever. So I looked at her and she kind of nodded at me like, and, and just held the pen out. <laughs> like, all right, we Here see this go. guy's a fucking retard. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then two seconds. Dump, dump, dump. No, no, yes, no, no. Done. Sign. And then the guy comes around, and uh, I, I give my, my form in, and, and then I hear uh, I hear this, which was great over the loudspeaker. Uh, will the following people please report to room four? 
bloody bloody blah bloody bloody blah Anthony Comia blah 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 and I'm like oh shit I'm to report to room four did and they even have your looks- name at that point. No, the, the, I wow. just well, that's why in I, my shit. I know how the story ends, but oh, I was helping right. along there. Yeah. That's no, key to the story that they yeah. didn't, you didn't give your name to anyone yet. No. Gotcha. No. Uh, and I go into room four, and um, apparently, uh, after a very quick interview, um, it was determined that I probably should not uh, <laughs> be on on jury duty. What did they do? Just bring you into a room full of black people who booed you, and then they sent you home? <laughs> 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 All you really have to do is punch up my Twitter and realize it's like, could you just look at my Twitter Please. and realize I am not suited uh, to make a rational I uh, knew there was a reason you tweeted decision. all that shit. See, it worked in your favor, finally. On guilt or, or innocence or anything like that? Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, I, was, uh, I was excused from said jury duty. Uh, were the you excused gu- for greatness, for being a celebrity? Why were you excused? I think I was excused because I'm a horrid person. Uh, I am. Uh, I'm racially biased, mm-hmm. and uh, I probably should not sit and judge people um, because my my background with dealing with so many of these news stories does put a bias on me. I honestly and honestly, I'll be honest. I don't think I could rationally and and um, un. Um, Without bias, uh, uh, judge somebody. I don't know. I think that I'm you'd terrible. be a fair juror because you're uh, uh, you no. you weigh you're too analytical. And I'll bet you if you were you stuck there right. and you had to be there and you actually saw the guy sitting there, you probably are right. You you would hear that, and he may be guilty. You may find him guilty, but I think that you would because I think it would be for like kind of not fun, but interesting to weigh the evidence and yeah. and well, do it without my my horrid fucking personality. So Jimmy, if if Anthony would be a fair juror, I would be too, right? <laughs> <laughs> I would be right. Yeah. What do you um, think? <laughs> what do you think? Would you be a fair juror? Yeah, I think you would be. I wouldn't act on my emotions or anything like that. <laughs> no. Oh. No, I think that you you would try to make a good impression and uh you would do good and Oh. Oh, look at this. You I might- I'm getting gold stars today. Well, you try to do good. You, there would be some major flub, <laughs> but I think it would be out of good nature. Business. Something terrible. But it would start off good, right? Yeah. I think and, with be, good intentions. I think you'd be a fair nice. juror. Nice. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Kenny wouldn't. Be. So basically, what you're saying, and you were recognized, and they said, "Get the fuck out of here." Well, uh, the one one of the court officers were, were very nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, right when I walked in, um, I was like, uh, "So it's very it's still it still strikes me as odd to j- walk up to." Uh, somebody of authority in in a courtroom or an officer of the law or something, and go, yeah, I gotta check my handgun. I gotta check my gun, because you know guns got pretty much bad rap uh, these days. Oh, you brought the gun with you? Well, I had no choice because I You're was running out of time. I was out of time, mm. so I had to go. And and they they have you know things for that. You know, it's 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 known that you're not allowed to carry a, a gun in a court building. In New York State, you cannot go into court that with a gun. Um, yeah. So uh, the guy that took me back to the room, the little room with all the little fucking lockers and stuff, uh, he was a fan of the show. Big fan from, uh, as he said, the old days. So he remembers like NEW and stuff. Uh, and as I was checking my, my weapon... Um, I didn't even ask him. I didn't say, could you get me out of this? Could, you know, something. Uh, but I guess he, he may, may have taken it upon himself to maybe talk to some people in my uh, stead. Ah. And, um, yeah. So, you know, I talked to people. But it was it was all legit. Like, I, I obviously was not suited for, for uh, this jury duty. Mm. I, I think um, I'm much too cynical these days uh, to um. do something. You know, so they they were very cool though. So you're good for a few years. Six years, apparently. Mm. Six years. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to go to uh, jury duty. So they end up getting shitty jurors in general. I, I know I'm talking to a few people that have been oh, on cases, but when, I think in general, when I looked at the pool of jurors, the people um, that are more than willing to go through the entire process and not try to figure out a way out. Yeah. I question those people. When I looked at I that really fucking jury pool. It was just an abomination. 
<laughs> I was like, this. Would you want to be judged by them? No. I bet you if we got some lawyers I in the phone, I never want to get point. into those uh, shenanigans where you have to um, yeah. be judged by these people. Huh. After the OJ trial, which was so many months, it just scared everybody. Like, you don't have these eight yeah. month trials. It's yeah. fucking scary. Oh, my God. I. Eight if if I had the OJ trial, I would do that in a second. That would be fun. In hindsight, yeah, it's for fun. eight months, I I uh, I would deal with that. Love hindsight. That then terrible. I would write a nice little book. Oof. All that terrible DNA Rare. evidence. Oh, Rare. you think it was a snore fest? Fucking snore fest. Just a snoozy snooze. Oh, God almighty. Oh, well, mm. all right. Well, there you go. Yeah, it was fun though. I mean, uh, you know, to meet some people.